G'day everyone. Today I wanted to have a little look at using the ATP in EasyNest. So we're going to go from Capmaster out to EasyNest, which would then take us to the machine. All right, first of all, let's look at this drawing. I've got a very simple drawing here. First of all, I'm going to have to export the machining. So File, Export, Machining, which can also be done with the F8 key. As you can see here, my output has been created. I have both the material for my carcass and the material for my panels and doors. Just going to press OK and minimize that. Now I'm going to go to EasyNest. And here we are in EasyNest. Now there's a couple of steps involved. I'll write these on the screen for written reference, but we'll go through these steps a little bit slowly to make it easy. First of all, we're going to go to the ATP button. Once we've got our ATP, we need to load the appropriate size of material we're about to do. So we're going to go load. Now bearing in mind different materials cut in different ways, so we have different setups for these, and also different sheet sizes. The first material I'm going to run is carcass, so I'm going to use this one. The next step is that we've got to go to the parts list. Then our next step after that is to go to the add list file. Now when we're in this add list file, you're going to find that the files we've outputted from Capmaster have actually arrived on the C drive machining. Now they have also gone into a folder of their job's name, or the drawing's name, which is this one. And then we're going to grab the material that we're trying to go for first, which is the carcass. And then we're going to grab our files. Now here you can see the files have all arrived. The next step is to go across to the Setup tab. From here, we'll then give the job a name. In this instance, I'm just going to go with a very simple name, Smith, and I'm going to call it Carcass. You'll notice I'm using the underscore to keep things safer. Certain processes afterwards, it's safer to keep it to letters and numbers and the underscore or dash key. Try not to use other keys if possible. Here we now look go the final step, which is to process the parts list. Now this, depending on how big your job is, might take a little moment, it might take fairly quick. My job's not very large, so this isn't gonna take very long at all. And there you go, we've got two sheets of nest. As you can see here, this is the first sheet. We can see various bits of drilling for the adjustable shelf holes. We can also see drilling for the draw runners. You can also see some of the tongue and groove configurations that I'd asked for these cabinets to be put together with. We can also come up here to this side and look at the different sheets. So I can go to the second sheet. And that's what our second sheet of nesting looks like. Now we need to nest our doors. So I'm going to go back to the ATP button. I'm going to go back to the load button because I need to load the right material now for the doors. In this case, it's going to be this one here. I need to go to the parts list. I need to clear the previous job. Go to the add list file. Now EasyNest will remember where you just were, so we are still in the carcass. If I just shortcut this and go up one level, I'll be able to then get to my other job. But otherwise we are still located in the C drive machining. I'm going to go to my gray and get the files. Here you can see that all the files have come in. Under my setup, I'm going to give it a job name. Smith Thor here because I'm going to make it easy to let it know that I'm doing the door material. And press process. The steps are the same between the carcass and the doors. Just different processes of ATP are being used. One sheet of nest is being provided. And there's our one sheet. You can see here that we've got hinge cups and lugs. We've even got our handles. And on our draw fronts, we've even got our draw front drilling. All right, so that's how we nest in the ATP. I'm just going to minimize these nest. In the machining out folder, which is located on the C drive machining out, you'll find all the files that we just created. In this case, you'll see there's the files for the machine for the door material and the carcass material. And also we'll find a corresponding label for the door material and corresponding labels for the carcass material. These are used to identify the parts for machining. Now obviously these files then need to make their way down to their machine depending on the various machines that you have and how you get it down there. Other than that, that's ready. Alright, thanks very much for listening.